Welcome back. Today's video is going to be pretty exciting for the visuals. I have added an asteroid and a new player ship model and also a new sprite for the bullets. So let's check this stuff out. When you drop a model in to the project, all you have to do is you can either just drag and drop it like this and you want to stick it like straight into a folder like I did here and for any kind of sprites just drop them into probably a textures folder like that and I did the same with the asteroid and then when you want so you use your existing prefab so this is my asteroid that I had before and it was set to a uh, a sphere for the mesh filter. So all you do is you click on this little circle um, on this component and then you just choose one of these primitives or something that you have just imported. So um, the asteroid is selected here. It's called default here. Uh, I don't know how to change that probably in the 3D program that creates it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So for the player ship, go into the hierarchy now, player ship, and all I did was click on this little circle here, and I selected the, um, the spaceship model. All right, pretty cool. So let's see now about the, the sprite. There's some tricky stuff that I did um, for that, since this ship has two guns on it. Let's go into play here and then I'll show you how I instantiate twin guns. So there's play. Alright, so now I have two bullets that come out at a time. And I colored them yellow for now. That can easily be changed. And you see the asteroids coming down. And they have an asymmetric shape. So that's that. And everything else is about the same. So let's head over to the JavaScript for the ship. So this is in the shooting portion of the script. And I have added a couple variables here. One is nose of ship. That is for any of the weapons that are come out, going to come out from the tip of the ship. I'm going to forward the position of the bullets so they look like they come right out of the front. And I've shown that in another video. I have a variable tip of guns so this is going to be like for the standard bullet. It's only going to go that far forward. Not all the way to the tip of the ship. And then gun width. And that is so I can shift the bullet or the bullet type zero to the left and to the right. Just enough so it looks like it comes out of the, the guns. All right, so case is zero here for the switch bullet type has two bullets that are being instantiated. So one time when I shoot, I come into the switch statement, I hit case zero and I enter, and I comment to myself as I instantiate a bullet, and then this is the same, clone equals instantiate projectile one. I did change the number that I had typed in here to a variable tip of guns since I'm going to be repeating that. And then I remind myself I'm going to shift that bullet to the left. Clone.transform.position.x minus equals gun width. Then this is the same as before. Set the bullet speed with get component. Um, set bullet damage. This is all the same as before. Now I have another comment. Instantiate another bullet. Same thing. Shift it to the right. And I have my clone transform plus equals gun width here. And everything else is the same. So as the model scale changes, bigger or smaller, then I'm going to need to change this gun width. And also this um, nose of ship. So I have changed all of these other variables. So case one is the durable bullet. So it's going to come out of the nose. The ion cannon also come out of the nose. 
and the uh, the laser. Um, I also put nodes of ship in here, plus about 0.5 um, times the laser length. So no matter how long the laser length is, it's just going to come right out of the. It's going to look like it's coming right out of the nose. All right, pretty short video today. It took a lot of work to get that stuff in, and one thing that I had a problem with was getting the ship, the player ship, did come in all of its individual components the first time I dropped it in. So you have to modify that in your 3D, um, whatever program you want to use for that. So now it just comes in as a single mesh instead of all the pieces. So what, what was happening in the hierarchy when I select the player ship, come in here the, to the mesh filter, instead of having a single item for all of, or one item for the whole ship, all of its components were spread out over this whole entire menu. So there were like almost 40 little pieces to choose from. And so I couldn't really select a ship from that. So, all right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.